Comparing physical and emotion pain with Monica Wills and Here We Go Go. Exploring the difference between physical and emotional pain. Pain is a universal experience. But did you know that there are different types of pain? Physical pain and emotional pain are two very distinct experiences that can be equally intense. Understanding the difference between these two types of pain can help us better recognize what we are feeling and take appropriate actions to address it. In this video, we will explore the differences between physical and emotional pain, how they are processed in the brain, and how they can influence one another. We will also discuss whether emotional pain can be treated like physical pain and what role psychotherapy and mindfulness play in supporting our mental health. So let's dive into this topic together and gain a deeper understanding of our own experiences of pain. Asterisk 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 we are looking for 10 individuals who are looking to overcome depression and anxiety with the use of positive self-talk techniques. This offer is a limited opportunity for a few prospects only, prior to course launch. If this sounds like something you may be interested in please feel free to reach out. We can be contacted at herewegogo at gmail.com, monicawills54321 at gmail.com, or DM anytime through our Facebook pages Here We Go Go or at monica.wills.12345. Understanding Physical and Emotional Pain It is important to understand the differences between physical and emotional pain in order to effectively manage and treat them. Physical pain and emotional pain are two distinct types of pain that individuals experience. Physical pain is usually caused by injury or illness, while emotional pain stems from psychological distress. Both types of pain can have a significant impact on daily life and overall well-being. Physical pain is typically associated with specific physical symptoms, such as inflammation, migraines, or abdominal pain. On the other hand, Emotional pain is more subjective and can manifest as sadness or distress. While physical pain can often be treated with medical interventions such as medication or surgery, emotional pain may require psychological therapy, such as cognitive behavioral therapy or biofeedback. In terms of healthcare, physical pain is often addressed by primary care physicians or specialists in specific medical conditions, while emotional pain may be addressed by psychiatrists or mental health professionals. Research in neuroscience has shown that physical pain and emotional pain are processed differently in the brain. Areas of the brain like the prefrontal cortex, parahippocampal gyrus, and posterior cingulate cortex are involved in processing painful emotions and negative feelings. Understanding the distinction between physical and emotional pain is essential in providing appropriate care and support. Healthcare providers need to consider both physical and psychological factors when treating pain in order to provide optimal care. By recognizing and addressing both forms of pain, individuals can embark on a healing process that promotes overall well-being and improves their quality of life. The Nature of Physical Pain Physical pain is typically the result of an injury or damage to the body's tissues. It serves as a protective mechanism that alerts us to potential harm and encourages us to avoid further injury. Acute physical pain is usually short-lived and subsides once the underlying cause has been addressed. On the other hand, chronic physical pain persists for longer periods and may require ongoing medical treatment. Managing physical pain often involves a combination of medication, physical therapy, and lifestyle changes. Healthcare providers work closely with patients to develop personalized treatment plans that address the root cause of the pain and improve overall well-being. In some cases, surgical interventions may be necessary to alleviate physical pain caused by structural abnormalities or injuries. Psychological factors can also influence the experience of physical pain. Negative emotions and stress can amplify the perception of pain and make it more difficult to cope with. Additionally, Certain mental health conditions, such as somatic symptom disorder, can manifest as physical pain without an identifiable medical cause. To address the interplay between psychological and physical pain, a holistic approach that integrates both medical and psychological interventions may be necessary. Cognitive behavioral therapy, biofeedback, and relaxation techniques can help individuals manage their pain by addressing the underlying emotional and cognitive aspects. Understanding the nature of physical pain is essential for effective pain management. By considering the multidimensional nature of pain and the various factors that contribute to its experience, 
healthcare providers can develop comprehensive treatment plans that promote healing and overall well-being. The nature of emotional pain sadness as a key example. Emotional pain, such as sadness, is a common form of psychological distress that many people experience. It can be triggered by various factors, including loss, rejection, or trauma. When someone goes through a difficult breakup, the emotional pain they feel is a result of the loss and the associated negative emotions. Similarly, when someone experiences rejection in their personal or professional life, it can cause feelings of sadness and despair. Unlike physical pain, emotional pain is not directly linked to a specific injury or illness. It is more subjective and can manifest as a range of negative emotions, including sadness, hopelessness, or despair. While physical pain is typically associated with somatic symptoms and can be objectively measured or observed, emotional pain is more internal and deeply connected to our cognitive and emotional well-being. Treating emotional pain often involves psychotherapy, mindfulness practices, and self-care. Psychotherapy helps individuals explore and understand the underlying causes of their emotional pain, while mindfulness practices can help them develop skills to manage and regulate their emotions. Self-care activities, such as engaging in hobbies, spending time with loved ones, or practicing relaxation techniques, can also play a crucial role in healing and managing emotional pain. In conclusion, emotional pain, particularly sadness, is a significant aspect of psychological distress that individuals may experience. It is not directly linked to a specific injury or illness like physical pain but can impact one's well-being profoundly. Understanding and addressing emotional pain are essential for overall mental health and quality of life. How does the brain process physical and emotional pain? The brain processes physical and emotional pain through distinct neural pathways. Physical pain is primarily processed by the somatosensory cortex and thalamus, while emotional pain involves regions associated with emotion regulation. Neuroimaging studies have shown different patterns of neural activity for physical and emotional pain, informing targeted pain management strategies. The biological mechanisms behind pain perception. The perception of pain involves intricate interactions between the nervous system and the brain. In the case of physical pain, nociceptors, specialized sensory receptors, send signals to the brain, which then interprets these signals as pain. On the other hand, emotional pain activates similar neural pathways, but the signals originate from psychological distress rather than physical injury. These signals are transmitted through the release of neurotransmitters and the activation of specific brain regions. For instance, the anterior cingulate cortex, a region associated with emotion regulation, is involved in processing emotional pain. The prefrontal cortex, parahippocampal gyrus, and posterior cingulate cortex also play key roles in pain perception. Understanding the biological mechanisms behind pain perception is crucial for the development of effective interventions for both physical and emotional pain. It allows healthcare providers to tailor treatment approaches based on the underlying mechanisms involved. For example, cognitive behavioral therapy and self-talk strategies, forms of psychotherapy, can help individuals with chronic pain manage their symptoms by addressing psychological factors that contribute to their pain experience. Additionally, Neuroscientific research on pain perception has led to the development of innovative approaches such as biofeedback and functional magnetic resonance imaging (fMRI), which allow researchers to visualize and study pain-related brain activity. This knowledge can inform the exploration of new therapeutic strategies, such as targeted medication or non-pharmacological interventions, for managing pain. By unraveling the biological mechanisms behind pain perception, Researchers can work towards alleviating both physical and emotional suffering, ultimately improving the overall well-being of individuals experiencing pain. The interplay between physical and emotional pain. Physical and emotional pain are not isolated experiences but rather interconnected aspects of human suffering. The interplay between these two types of pain can have a reciprocal relationship, influencing each other in various ways. Emotional pain has the potential to exacerbate physical symptoms, such as headaches or muscle tension. This is because negative emotions and psychological factors can activate physiological stress responses, leading to an amplification of somatic symptoms. Conversely, chronic physical pain can also contribute to emotional distress. 
Individuals with long-term pain conditions often experience elevated levels of depression and anxiety. The constant presence of physical discomfort can be emotionally draining and impact overall psychological well-being. Therefore, addressing both physical and emotional pain is crucial for comprehensive pain management. A holistic approach that acknowledges the interconnection between these two dimensions of suffering yields more effective outcomes. Integrative approaches to pain management recognize the importance of treating physical and emotional pain simultaneously. This can involve a combination of traditional medical interventions and psychological therapies. Cognitive behavioral therapy CBT, and positive self-talk strategies are two great examples of a psychotherapeutic approaches that address both the cognitive and emotional aspects of pain. By helping individuals reframe their thoughts and develop coping strategies, CBT and positive self-talk strategies can reduce both physical and emotional distress. In conclusion, Physical and emotional pain are intertwined, and understanding their interplay is essential for comprehensive pain management. By recognizing the reciprocal relationship between these two dimensions of suffering, healthcare providers can offer more effective interventions to address both the physical and emotional aspects of pain. The effect of emotional pain on physical well-being. Emotional pain can have a profound impact on physical well-being and overall health. Prolonged emotional distress weakens the immune system, making individuals more susceptible to physical illnesses. The mind-body connection is intricate, and chronic emotional pain can manifest in somatic symptoms, exacerbating existing medical conditions. Unaddressed emotional pain often leads to unhealthy coping mechanisms such as substance abuse or self-harm. Individuals may attempt to numb their painful emotions through self-destructive behaviors, further compromising their physical well-being. It is crucial to recognize the detrimental effects of emotional pain on overall health and take appropriate measures to address it. Treating emotional pain not only alleviates psychological suffering but also improves physical well-being. A holistic approach that considers both physical and emotional needs is essential for optimal health outcomes. Health care providers, particularly those in primary care, should be attentive to the potential impact of emotional pain on physical health. By adopting an integrated approach that addresses the underlying psychological factors contributing to physical symptoms, healthcare providers can support individuals in their healing process. Psychiatry, cognitive behavioral therapy, and positive self-talk strategies are valuable resources for addressing emotional pain. These therapeutic modalities help individuals develop coping strategies, manage negative emotions, and enhance overall well-being. Additionally, techniques such as biofeedback and mindfulness have shown promise in treating emotional pain and fostering a more balanced mind-body connection. In conclusion, emotional pain significantly affects physical well-being, highlighting the importance of recognizing and addressing its impact. By acknowledging the interplay between emotional and physical pain and implementing comprehensive interventions, individuals can achieve improved overall health and well-being. Can emotional pain be treated like physical pain? While emotional pain cannot be treated in the same way as physical pain, it can be effectively managed. Psychotherapy, such as cognitive behavioral therapy, CBT, positive self-talk strategies, deep breathing, self-awareness, and mindfulness practices like meditation can help individuals develop coping strategies and reduce emotional distress. Integrative approaches that consider the mind-body connection are also effective in addressing emotional pain. Emotional pain deserves the same level of care and attention as physical pain. The role of psychotherapy and mindfulness in alleviating emotional pain. Psychotherapy, such as talk therapy or cognitive behavioral therapy, CBT, plays a crucial role in alleviating emotional pain. These therapeutic interventions offer individuals a safe space to explore and address the underlying causes of their emotional distress. By working with a trained mental health professional, individuals can gain valuable insights into their emotions, thoughts, and behaviors, and develop healthy coping strategies. Learning life-changing strategies on how to achieve self-awareness, mindfulness, and the ability to eliminate cognitive distortions life becomes a better place and emotions begin to thrive. In addition to psychotherapy, mindfulness practices have been found to be effective in reducing the intensity of emotional pain. Mindfulness techniques, such as meditation or yoga, 
enable individuals to cultivate emotional resilience and develop a greater sense of self-awareness. By practicing mindfulness, individuals can learn to observe and accept their painful emotions without judgment, which can lead to a decrease in emotional suffering. Combining psychotherapy with mindfulness techniques can provide comprehensive support for individuals experiencing emotional pain. This integrated approach addresses both the psychological and emotional aspects of pain, helping individuals heal and thrive. In conclusion, psychotherapy and mindfulness practices are powerful tools in alleviating emotional pain. By incorporating mindfulness techniques into daily lives, individuals can effectively manage and heal their emotional pain. It is essential to prioritize emotional well-being and seek appropriate care to ensure holistic health. In conclusion, both physical and emotional pain are real and can have a significant impact on our well-being. While physical pain is often more tangible and easily understood, emotional pain is just as valid and deserving of attention. The brain processes both types of pain in different ways, but they are interconnected and can influence each other. It is essential to recognize the interplay between physical and emotional pain and address both for holistic healing. Seeking help, such as psychotherapy and mindfulness practices, can be effective in alleviating emotional pain and promoting overall well-being. Remember, it is essential to prioritize self-care and seek support when needed for both physical and emotional pain. We are looking for 10 individuals who are looking to overcome depression and anxiety with the use of positive self-talk techniques. This offer is a limited opportunity for a few prospects only, prior to course launch. If this sounds like something you may be interested in, please feel free to reach out via DM to Facebook pages Here We Go Go and at monica.wills.12345. Visit our blog at www.herewegogo.com Shop our stores at www.beautywegogo. CommandShopStyle.com slash shop slash here we go go thanks for watching. Red exclamation mark full disclosure. Here we go go is sponsored by Amazon, Collective Voice and Magic Links. The blog may earn a commission from any purchases made through these affiliate links. Red exclamation mark.